Hey guys, it's TNN and today we're going to have a look at this remote control helicopter from Timu for our episode 2 of cheap Timu tech under £15, $15. So this one here cost £8. Insane. A remote control helicopter for £8. I remember when these were like 20, 30 quid back in the day when they first started, became a trend to have little remote control helicopters. £8 is insane. I mean, packaging, definitely cheap. You can really tell this is super cheap packaging. I mean, even Poundland had better packaging than this. Um, but let's get straight to it anyway. So we've got 2.5 channels, remote control, no idea what the lightning means. I'm guessing rechargeable maybe. Uh, light, I'm guessing means the helicopter has an LED light. Maybe something like that. God knows. I mean, this is the ad over here on Timu anyway. Uh, I'll try and link the same one down below. But if not, if you just search RC helicopter, I'll link the Timu link down below. Search RC helicopter and you'll find all sorts. And this is like, I mean, it looks appealing. It looks pretty cool. So it's for ages 14 plus, apparently so. It is infrared induction. Lin. Infrared. Lin induction aircraft. Okay, whatever that means. Ascend, ascend, oh sorry, ascend, descend, turn left, turn right. Fair enough. Turn on switch, switch and wait three seconds, it will fly automatically. Okay, uh, we don't know how to use this, we're just going to have to try and figure out, let's just pull the crap out here. We got this really light remote control that Genuinely, honestly, it feels like nothing. It honestly feels like there's no electronics inside of it. I don't even know if this thing's even gonna fly. But let's let's see how it goes anyway. Here is the actual helicopter. Pretty cool. Micro USB to USB A charging cable. What we've got here. Motion activated flying helicopter instructions. Yeah, I really need that. Right, let's charge it up and see if we can power it on and get it to fly. Actually, before we um, before we charge it up, let's have a close look at the actual helicopter. So we got the yellow one here. Um, it's like a dual flappy helicopter. Uh, cheap plastic, but not that cheap. But like a matte finish on here, uh, feels decent to be honest with you. Um, we do have a power switch. Oh damn, it's got charge. Holy. Sh Shit, it just started spinning. It didn't even give you a few seconds to just chill out. It just started. That would li look. I literally turn it on, and inst like. Damn, that's pretty dangerous. If my hand was there, that would have really hurt. Actually, I don't think it really would hurt. It's plastic, but that would have really hurt. I don't like that. That's dangerous. Definitely, ages fourteen plus. Um, there is the uh, marker USB. Charging port there. We've got a motor there. But yeah, it's pretty much it. Uh, I need to find batteries for this thing here. I'm guessing it's uh, two AAA batteries. So I'm going to go find the batteries and get a screwdriver and have to open that up as well. A bit long. It doesn't give you a screwdriver, but I can't complain for eight quid. So let's go ahead and put some batteries in here. We may not even need to charge it. It looks like it's got some charge. Let's see if it works. Right, it took me like 20 years to find the damn screwdriver that even fits that hole. Um, so I kind of just dashed the screw because you don't really need any. I mean, it's pretty much in there. I, I, I never got why they create it to clip in, but then put a screw. It's so annoying. Um, I'm not usually one to complain, but how do I know what these buttons even do? Because they're just Google and they're not even level. Like it's got a lazy eye, it's wonky. One's up here, one's down. You can literally see like an outline circle of where it was meant to stick. That one's like more central than this one. But nonetheless, I don't know what the buttons do because they're just eyes. They don't say, it doesn't say what it does. Maybe I did need the manual after all. Let me read the manual and I'll be back. Okay, so this left button here is called the upward flight button. We've got the power indicator in the middle and the landing button. So it just goes up and land. So it goes up and down, it doesn't steer or anything like that. Um, 
Hold the flying helicopter upright, make sure the propellers are parallel to your palm. Turn on the power switch while keeping the propellers away from your face. Definitely keep it away from your face because that thing just spins up. Wait 3 seconds and the high speed propellers will engage. Release the helicopter straight up as the flying helicopter hovers up and down. Continue to place your hand under the helicopter. What? No contact or remote control is required. Then why, then why have you given a remote control if no contact or remote control is required? Wait for the flying helicopter to hover down and become stable before holding its body. Find the power switch and turn it off. Recharge the helicopter. Uh, remote control. Turn on the power switch. Release the helicopter on the ground. As the flying helicopter hovers up and down, you can control the height and upwards flight button. Press the landing button to land the helicopter. I mean, it seems pretty simple, but... I mean, it's kind of scary. I feel like if I switch it on, I've got to quickly put it down because it's just going to kill me. I'm scared. Ah! Oh my god, it's just... Yo. It... It just flew up and crashed. I need to show you guys this. Right, here's the helicopter I picked up. I'm, I'm just so afraid it's just gonna turn on and start spinning like. This is not safe. This is absolutely not safe. Remote control. Upwards apparently, this will go up. Holy shit! Like that that's it, that it just it just goes up, hits the ceiling and falls on the floor. I'm I'm not even joking you guys. That's lit right, let me get a, a a wider shot. That's literally all it does. Alright, I've got a wide angle shot. That's the helicopter in the middle over there. We're gonna for some reason the landing button was the one that lifted the instruction said that the left button was the up look. The left button does nothing. That one's that was the one that said it goes up. They said this one was landing. But the landing one seems to be the one that actually takes it up. But l l I mean, l look what it does. It goes flying up. Oh wait. It just, it's just no control. I mean, you can control it with this going up and oh. Oh shit. Uh, uh cut. We just need to. Oh, we'll be right back. We've got some technical difficulties. It just. It just goes up and down. It generally just goes up and down. And you can barely control it. You can't even control how it goes up and down. The damn instruction. It, 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 it says you just put it on your hand. And you just lift it up. And then you keep your hand underneath it. How the hell are you supposed to keep your hand underneath it. When it just goes flying up. Hits the wall and then comes down. How, how on earth do you even control. I'm so afraid to even hold this. I feel like it's just going to spin and chop my hands off. This is garbage. It is garbage. Don't buy it, guys. Over score one out of ten. That is awful. But for eight pounds, it was pretty funny and gave eight pounds worth of entertainment for sure. So, stay tuned for the next episode of cheap Timu stuff under fifteen pounds. Hopefully, we can find another good thing because in the first episode, I think that smart which was pretty cool. But this, this is garbage. As always, thanks for watching, don't forget to comment, like and subscribe and hit that bell notification so you get updates from every video we upload. Thanks for watching guys. Mm -hmm. Remote control, select reason for return, defective doesn't work, still want to return it, yep, doesn't really work. Seems a bit dangerous. Right, let's return this. Well, while I was returning it, I remembered I actually bought it for four pounds seventy-one, which is even more of a bargain than eight pounds. But now that I know I paid four pounds seventy-one for it, it's not worth the eight pound it is now. It was half the price when I bought it. it it's 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 not worth eight pound at all. Four pounds seventy-one. Yeah, it's actually it's a good laugh. It's still shit. It's still one out of ten. But for £4.71, it's a good laugh. For £8, hell no. I'm returning this right now.